A restaurant in downtown Springfield was caught in the middle of a disgruntled customers and DoorDash imposter, Red Rose Pizzeria. In a matter of days, they had dozens of DoorDash drivers show up for pickups, but no orders to give them. Well, we're getting answers and results for the Springfield institution. I would say we're upwards of 60 to 80 DoorDash drivers orders um, that customers are placing, hoping to receive that they're not receiving. Dozens of drivers, disgruntled customers, and incomplete orders. That's the result of what Red Rose tells us is an imposter trying to take advantage of their legacy. The orders that have been coming in, um, you know, range from one item to, you know, a couple party sized pizzas. So, I mean, give or take between you know, 20 bucks and $100 orders people are placing that are not coming to us and they're not receiving them either. And Caputo is on the receiving end of both unhappy customers and drivers. I don't blame them because they're upset, we're upset, but there is genuinely nothing, you know, support has been able to help us with at the moment because we can't verify this account that has been created. After realizing the trend in just two short nights, Caputo tells Western Mass News she spent hours on the phone with DoorDash customer service. The only way that they told me we're actually able to take down this account is to provide an email, phone number, and the digits of the bank account linked to this account that's been created, which we're not able to do because it's not our information. Western Mass News reached out to DoorDash to get answers for the restaurant. And DoorDash tells us they didn't activate the fraudulent account and they're actively investigating how it happened. In a statement, they tell us in part, DoorDash has no tolerance for fraud and we reached out to Red Rose Pizza to understand their situation and resolve the issue by deactivating the fraudulent store. While rare, this was nonetheless an unfortunate incident. We also took the time to look through the DoorDash app and were able to confirm the listing was removed from the possible options for customers almost immediately after receiving their statement.